Okay, so apparently that's wrong. So let's go ahead and back it on up and uh, rewind this video back to uh, the VBT being removed. All right, so we need to remove all of this and take off the valve cover. I'll explain. All right, so now we need to get this out. Let's go through the sequence. All right, that's all 14. All right, so here we are. And the culprit for today's video is this bit here. So this actually needs to go up from the bottom. So we need to take off um, just this part here and put this in from the bottom like this and we'll be good. So let's do that. So we simply should be able to lift up on this bit and we can pull it out. So where you don't want to make the mistake I made is actually, and uh, as you saw in the um, rewinded video, I installed this uh, v, v, VCT, there we go, VCT plug backwards. Um, the right way to install the plug is from underneath and in like so i did it wrong in the first uh episode for this and i want to thank uh blue coda for pointing it out so that i can come back and fix this for you all um anyway so we're going to reinstall this now the right way and we'll be good to go and these uh have a torquing that they need to go into so just remember that but i'm going to work them down uh, by hand first and then I'm going to do the, the torque spec. So I'll bring you back on once I get all these uh, tightened down by hand first. Stay focused. Here's a close-up view of what it's supposed to look like. Uh, you want that plug, like I said, uh, the mushroom head underneath going up through the bottom at the top. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think of that before. But again, shout out to Blue Coda for pointing this out um, before I started the engine because... I'm assuming that could have ended up over here, which not, not good at all. All right, so we got the valve cover back on. Um, uh, the three bolts that were removed from the uh, cams, one, two, and three, have all been torqued down to their correct specifications, hand tight, um, 
62 inch pounds and then uh, 144 inch pounds across that those that three so make sure you do that if you've if you watched my video the first time and installed yours uh, wrong as well I'm very sorry for that so another youtuber or uh, subscriber hopefully uh, alluded to me something interesting about installing the plug for this temperature sensor here and yes, this location is where the temperature sensor goes. Uh, instead of installing the uh, coil pack on two and three, you would go ahead and install your uh, clip or your pigtail for the temperature sensor and it makes it much easier to get in. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Yeah, so. much easier all right so that job is now complete so you know there there you go you learned a lesson today that you know um you don't get everything right the first time and even when you try it a second time and put things back together multiple times you still don't get things right and it's always good to have a second opinion um and i'm i'm glad that this happened because you know this proves that people are actually watching the channel first and foremost and you know holding me accountable for things that I put out here on uh, YouTube so again thanks to uh, Blue Kuda uh, or Coda if I'm pronouncing that right and the other subscriber that I can't uh, remember his name um, but I think he touched me about the uh, engine cover idea like several like six to seven months ago and I was like eh, you know when I get around to doing it again I will put it in there but uh, kudos to you both for your input um, hopefully you're seeing this and uh, you know putting a mark on your chest for being right <laughs> uh, but now everybody that watches it will also get theirs done right too which is why we're doing this so uh, with that said, uh, I'll see you in the next episode very soon. Focus Tans, signing off. Peace.